You know, our next guest from the Twilight movies and seven seasons of The Walking Dead, her newest project is yet another true story. She plays Selena in Selena the Series on Netflix. Please welcome Christian Serratos. <laughs> Is that, a, is that for me? Is that a gift? No. Oh, it's not. Oh. Um, this oh. is uh, something I, I learned to do in the in quarantine, and it and it kind of um, acts as like a stress reliever for is me. Is that a Rubik's cube? Correct. This is a Rubik's cube. Well, it's a speed cube because I I, I became a super nerd about it. Do you feel? Uh, are you under a lot of stress right now? Um, no, not necessarily okay. stress, but like I'm doing things I've never done before, like sitting here with you. And... Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Right. So right. I thought. Well, do it. Can you talk when you do it? I, I, yeah, I can, okay. unless you know I'm enamored with you, which I might be. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I have a feeling you'll have no trouble. <laughs> it's um, a very Eddie Murphy-ish look you have there. I mean, I love that my, red uh, suit you've my got on. Ensemble. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a that's a bootleg Rubik's cube, isn't it? No, this is actually like a really like sophisticated one, I believe. Um, I got really into it, and uh, once I figured out how to do like your standard one, I was like, well, I want to do it faster and faster and faster. And how do I do that? Look, I've already messed up. I did have full disclosure a beer backstage, so I'm. Not oh, you did. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like a drunk Rubik's cube. Are there, I don't know that I've met a woman named Christian before. Do you know other women named Christian? I have never met anybody else called Christian, but I mean, that's kind of why I, I dig my name and why I especially wanted my daughter to have kind of like a unisex name is uh -huh. because, you know, I had kind of, I wouldn't say trouble with it when I was younger, but, you know, people would often say to me, oh, well, isn't that a boy's name? And I wanted to tell them constantly, well, no, not if I have it. But it like gave me <laughs> something to like be, I guess, strong about. And I wanted ah. my my daughter to be strong, so I gave her a unisex name. Her name's uh, Wolfie. Wolf? Your daughter's name's Wolfie? Well, her name's Wolfgang, um, which is not very common here. Is that a unisex name? I, I guess it's not, but like, what is a unisex name, you know? Not like, Wolfgang. <laughs> <laughs> a name is a name, you know? But Yeah, um, that's a kind of a cool name for, well, for a boy or a girl, really. Yeah, and I tend to, people get confused when I talk about her because I'll say like, oh, I got to get back to the wolf, and people look at me kind of funny. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I should, I should uh, be more clear about Is that. Is that tied to being in the Twilight movies in any way, <laughs> Wolfgang, or? No, um, no, you know, I am a big fan of Mozart and thought he had like an incredible name. And I, I thought for a second about, oh, well, should I call her um, Wolfgang Amadeus? And my friend was like, too much, calm down. Um, so, so yeah, <laughs> and, and my husband's in music. And so it just, it connected for me and it connected for him. And, and so, yeah, we went with um, Wolfie. And you know, I always think it's strange too that we decide other people's names. So if there was ever a point where she was like, oh, I'm gonna change my name, then you know, that would be that would be okay. That would be okay with yeah. you. Yeah, she yeah, that's a little wants. weird. But <laughs> it's not, if you let a baby decide their name, their name would be like <laughs> Exactly. So 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 it's a it's a it's a placeholder, then we'll call it a placeholder. Most people know you from The Walking Dead, yes. uh, which you've been on for seven seasons. <laughs> Uh, I've been on it for, you said seven seasons, and that surprised me because I feel like I've been on for um, like a, a decade. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I feel like I grew up. I'm from Los Angeles. I was born and raised here. Um, and I kind of thought it was irresponsible to live somewhere your entire life without exploring any other town. So I was really grateful to get the opportunity to live in Georgia. And it's just been like, just an incredible experience to be on a show that was that loved and, you know, that cast and we're all so tight and I'm just, I was so happy for that experience. Yeah, are you tired of being covered in mud and blood though? <laughs> um, you know, it never really gets old. Like there's funny things that happen all the time as a result. Like for instance, uh, we had, I think press to do on a Saturday and we had to get on a plane and fly to do this press and it didn't dawn on any of us that um, we were doing a night shoot on Friday. So we all committed to do press and wrapped at like five, six in the morning and had to go straight to the airport. Um, and we had shot this really big, like, fight sequence. So we had blood and dirt all over us. So by the time we wrapped, we got straight in the car and just went to the airport. And hair and makeup was throwing us, like, um, warm towels and, and everything to try to get as much off as we could. But um, that stuff is, is relentless. 
So we got to the airport and we went through security and I didn't even have time to tie my shoelaces. And Atlanta's like a really, it's, I think it's the largest airport in the United States. Uh -huh. So there's this like New York subway train that runs through the entire airport. And it was packed, it's always packed. And the doors open and I get out and I'm at a full sprint with a co-star and I trip over my shoelaces and I think I skidded like five feet head first into a wall. And it, I had blood all over me. And so people assumed that I had just the worst injury. <laughs> and so uh, uh, one of the stewardesses saw me fall. And when we got onto the plane, she was like, are you OK? You have blood coming out of your ears. You have blood everywhere. And I had to assure her that you know we work on a show. It was, it was just <laughs> hair and makeup and that I'd be fine. But I was so looking forward to sleeping on the plane since we had to go straight to work. And it just wasn't going to happen. So. Um, because she was worried that I was concussed, she forced me to stay awake. Um, and what? I know, and, and Josh McDermott, he's such a sweetheart, and like he's really a ride or die friend, but he assured me that he was gonna stay awake with me, and he was knocked out in like 10 minutes. Yeah, right, right. Um, and I wanted them to be he so. He chose to die. Oh my God, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, but we got off the plane, and like paramedics were brought on, and everything. It was a really? whole scene. I was so You've got one minute left to finish that oh, thing, no. or this is gonna be, yeah. Oh yeah. no, no, let me do it quickly. And now then. you're playing Selena. <laughs> <laughs> Can you think about Selena I while you're doing this? I can think about Selena, The yes. show is super popular on Netflix. I know you've already been picked up for season two. And we've already filmed it. Everything's... Um, oh, you've already shot season yeah, two. Yeah, everything's complete. So right now I'm just like super happy with the response and I'm just so excited that everyone finally gets to see all the hard work that we put in. You know, it's something that I'm super proud of. What, am I giving everyone anxiety? Because I have anxiety. <laughs> How bummed are you going to be if we go to commercial and you haven't finished that thing? Uh, not bummed at all. Oh, wow! <laughs> well done. <laughs> you did it. Selena's series is on Netflix now. Christian Serratos, everybody. Thank you, Christian. We'll be back with Sabrina Claudio. Congratulations on making it to the end of the YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.